now the add theme support function of WordPress and specifically we'll discuss the uh, add theme support function with post formats so if we go into codex we can see that add theme support function accepts uh, one parameter which is feature uh, which is a string okay and it registered the theme support for a given feature okay so whatever feature we're going to specify it's going to register the theme support for that okay so what I've done is I've gone ahead and gone uh, into my uh, functions.php so remember that uh, the add theme support function needs to be defined in the functions.php of your theme so I'm into my themes uh, functions.php file okay and I have defined a function called Cornova setup and inside of this I'm adding all of my theme support uh, theme support functions so the first one we're going to discuss about is the add theme support post format okay so before we discuss that if you read this you can say that must be called in the themes functions PHP file to work. If attached to a hook, it must be called after after theme setup. The init hook may be too late for some features. Hence, uh, I have created a, my own custom function which is Conova setup, and inside of this, I'm calling this uh, add theme support uh, function. And uh, at the end, I'm going ahead and uh, hooking my custom function Conova setup with the after theme setup hook, and that's what they're saying that you know if attached to a hook it must be called uh, must be after theme setup so I'm attaching my custom function to the hook and inside of that hook I'm calling all the add theme support functions uh, to register my theme support uh, with the given features okay so the first parameter which is the feature uh, which is a required parameter okay uh, it can accept different uh, features like post formats post thumbnails HTML5 custom logo and so on and so forth Okay, uh, you have an uh, option to add an additional feature which is arguments, which is extra arguments to pass along with certain features which you will, we will look into uh, in the coming uh, video or, or in this video as well. Okay, and it returns false on failure uh, and uh, void otherwise. Okay, uh, so this is defined in the theme.php which is in WP includes. Okay, and the first one we're going to talk about is the post format. So on Codex, we have different examples given uh, for different features, uh, but uh, I'll go ahead and explain that to you and show you how that works. So the first one, I'm going to talk about the add th theme support post formats. And as we all know, uh, it can accept two parameters. First is the feature and second is the uh, arguments. So in this function, the first parameter you're going to pass is the uh, feature, which is post formats. And then the second parameter is the array of different uh, formats okay so what this is basically post formats is if you notice if you go on to the edit post uh, you will see a section over here format okay if you don't see this section just go to screen options and make sure the format is checked okay and then you'll be able to see this format so this section right here is coming from this function that we're discussing Okay, post formats. If I go ahead and remove this, if I go ahead and comment this out, <clears throat> and then refresh the page, you can see that the format section in the po for the post is gone. Okay, so let's uncomment this out. <clears throat> So what are these additional parameters? You know, you I can see that this is the feature name post formats. Uh, what are these additional parameters? Okay, so if you check, I'll go that one by one. <clears throat> okay, you have an option to select this aside, image, video, and then you can add. This means that it allows you to uh, go ahead and, you know, display your post in different formats. So each post can have a different format depending on what you want to display on the front end. Okay, right now if you see, if we go ahead and select anything over here, like for example, link or gallery and update the post, you won't see any changes over here, you know, it's the same. So for this to work, we actually need to write some codes into the place where uh, this content is coming from. So in my uh, theme, 
this content is coming from the index.php inside of this we all know the loop of wordpress we are running the loop to display the content of the post and the title and the thumbnails etc so inside of this loop i'm calling get template fart function uh, the job of this function to include the uh, template files and template parts is the name of the directory where my templates are there okay so right now i only have content.php so i'm selecting content okay and then the second parameter is the slug okay so in case uh, if there are any other template files and you know uh, you get an option to uh, you know add this slug on it so if for example if we had content dash aside get post format is going to get the type of the format okay so we can go ahead and just display that over here and we can see that that's actually happening so let's echo out <coughs> get post format and let's see how that works you can see that you know we had selected video for this uh, particular post earlier okay one second So this is my God of War uh, post and we had selected gallery for that and this is God of War and we have gallery over here and then for the previous one you can also see there's an image next to it so it tells you that it's a video. So the Gods of War was uh, the video <clears throat> and hence over here we have video. Uh, so this text that's coming on over here is basically the post format which is being displayed with the get post format function okay <clears throat> so for each post we can have different post format depending on what what the user has selected from the back end um, over here whatever the user selected for each post and when the user has selected any of the post formats you will see a uh, uh, an image next to the post that you know the post format is selected in case if they don't select anything then you don't see any uh, image over here and you will notice that for that particular post uh, standard format is selected okay so how do we use it how do we you know make use of this option that's been given to us so what will happen over here that uh, get template part is going to include the uh, content.php in case there are no slug okay so it's going to look for a file with the slug so it's going to look for so for example for the first post uh, which was uh, the gods of war the template slug is video okay so this function basically returns the slug of the post format okay so uh, post for this uh, function returns the post format and over here this is used for slug so if we just check get template part we can see that the second uh, parameter is the name which is basically the slug okay <clears throat> so in case if you want to go ahead and make the best use of this particular function we can define a file so let's say we can create a file called content dash video because that was the first post format okay we create this function and the content.php is is where all the information for that post was coming from all the content was coming from so we're just going to copy paste that <coughs> and over here we're going to make some changes so earlier we had the title being displayed uh, we had the uh, you know the date and everything and the thumbnail so let's say we want to display only the thumbnail for that particular post and and the title and we don't want to display any other information okay so let's go ahead and delete everything from here let's also delete the meta dev okay and over here let's just write in in h2 tag that this is for the post format is video post format 
is video. So we're going to use this template for video whenever the user select the video post format. And let's refresh the page. And sure enough, you can see that you know, the post format is video and we only have the title and the uh, image, uh, the thumbnail, which is being displayed over here. Okay. So let's create another one. Uh, so second, second post was for, we had selected the gallery, if you remember, God of War we had selected a gallery so let's say that if a user has selected a gallery we want to include a custom post uh, template which will be called <coughs> content gallery okay and again we just copy paste this into the gallery content gallery and over here we're going to specify that this will be for the post format gallery and let's say in the gallery all we want to do is uh, just display the title and the thumbnail also but just specify that it's a gallery or if you want, just want to display the thumbnail and not the title we can just remove the whole thing here and then just refresh the page and sure enough we can see that you know for the second one we have the post format as gallery and we don't have the thumbnail for that uh, post so let's just add one so let's add her looks pretty And we'll refresh the page and sure enough we can see that we have just the thumbnail for the gallery post type uh, post format sorry okay great so basically this is how you can make best use of uh, this post format um, okay uh, feature all right so let's go ahead and give a recap on this <coughs> Okay, so add theme support basically registers the theme support for a given feature. In this video, we have discussed the specific feature, which was the post formats. And we have passed two arguments. One is the feature. Second is the arguments, which is an array. And we have given different options in this array into our functions.php. Aside, image, video, quote, link, gallery, status, audio, chat, all of these options have been given. And these options are created into your, uh, whenever you create a post or edit a post, these options, the same options are created over here. If you notice, same options. Okay, and then uh, you can go on to your index.php where inside of the loop when you are calling the get template part function, which is going to include the uh, template uh, for displaying the content uh, it's going to go into the template part folder look for content uh, file and the second option is the slug so content dash whatever the post format is selected uh, so for example if the gallery is selected it's going to say you know include the content dash gallery dot php so this function is going to include this file and whatever is there inside of that file will be displayed and that's what's happening over here into the gallery section because we had selected gallery over here that's why we have the gallery post format page displayed it uh, over here okay that's the template page that's been displayed for the content okay similarly uh, in case if it finds that uh, there are any other post which uh, doesn't have any slug then it's just going to include the content.php and whatever uh, the content is there inside of this file uh, content.php will be displayed for that particular post Okay, so that's how it works. So by default, the post format is standard. You can see for all of the posts where we have not selected the format, the format is standard. So it's going to just use the content.php for those posts uh, to be displayed onto your page. Okay. All right, that's brilliant. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, you can ask uh, by leaving the comments. Uh, just want to sum up this video by giving you a little bit more information onto the post formats. <clears throat> so there is a page on Codex. You can get to know more information on it. It says post format is a theme feature introduced in version 3.1 is a piece of meta information that can be used by a theme to customize its presentation of a post. 
The post format feature provides standard act list of formats that are available to all themes that support the feature. Themes are not required to support every format list. New formats can be introduced by themes or even plugins. Standardization of this list provides both compatibility. So all of this information is given. In short, with the theme supports post formats, a blogger can change how each post looks by choosing a post format from a radio button list. Okay, so it allows the blogger to choose between the different options of the post format in, with the radio button. And then accordingly, you can have a different uh, template for each, each post. Okay, so that's what it's trying to say. Okay, um, so these are the examples that have been mentioned for aside, what does it do, gallery, what does it do, and all of that. So whatever the aside image, gallery, and all of this information you can check out there. Okay, brilliant. I'll see you in the next video. Then if you do like the video, please uh, like and subscribe, share my video, and I'll see you in the next video with more information on uh, theme support.